द वे फॉरवर्ड इज थोड़ा बहुत बहुत स्वागत है मैं थोड़ा होस्ट हरजोत सिंह असी हमेशा थोड़े अपने जोड़े लोगल कम्यूनिटी लीडर्स हैं उन्होंने नाल गलबात कराते हैं उन्होंने तोड़े नाल रूबरू कराते हैं अज जिस कम्यूनिटी लीडर असी गल करा वो है हंटिंगटन न्यूयॉर्क सिटी काउंसिल टाउन काउंसिल के कैंडीडेट जो श्रैम जो श्रैम एक मार्केटिंग एग्जैक्टिव है एक सक्सैसफुल बिजनेसमैन हैं जो कि नॉर्थपोर्ट हंटिंगटन न्यूयॉर्क रेंदेन जो यू आर वेरी वेरी वेलकम टू द शो Thank you very much for having me. I certainly appreciate the invitation. Joe, thank you very much for taking all the time to speak with us. Uh Joe, I saw your campaign website and it says that you are a Northport homeowner, a leader and a small business owner. Can you tell us something about yourself? Oh, well, thank you. I I I've lived here in Northport um section of the town of Huntington for over 20 years uh, i've spent most of my adult life living in areas of Huntington including Huntington village and Huntington station but i've been a homeowner here for the last 20 years where i live with my life partner steve um i've uh, i've i've been involved in community uh efforts for a long time ever since i was a young man but specifically here in the huntington area i have been serving uh on congressman swazi's committee to interview young people who want to attend annapolis or west point or kings point for example um i also work in helping to uh, raise money for beacon house which is a uh a, a, a home for homeless veterans at the va hospital i work with um raising funds for um lgbt youth I also help raise funds for underprivileged kids so that they can play youth soccer like any other suburban kid and um I've also been involved with Alzheimer's care give and you know supporting Alzheimer's caregivers more specifically to my neighborhood uh recently I've been on the police review committee uh for the Northport Village Police I've served on the future planning committee for our school district and uh and uh, various other activities 125th anniversary of northport so so i i'm involved in a lot of things like that um yeah. i you want to know a little bit about my business um i can tell you that i jo 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 before uh, i go there uh, you know we uh we are well aware of the several very good causes that you are involved with you know i i would like to ask you at the very beginning why enter politics now oh well you know the reason is that i have a great concern about um being taxed out of the town Mm -hmm. uh, I I um I've been involved in the uh, Huntington Town uh Democratic Committee now for about 4 mm, years 4 and a half years but uh right now the reason why I'm jumping in for the first time this is the first time I've ever run for office mm -hmm. uh, is because I see that we are losing revenue from the business side of the tax base and we're losing revenue from the fact that lipa is paying less we're losing revenue from the fact that a uh, small a small uh, manufacturers are closing in the town of Huntington we're losing revenue from the fact that many restaurants and businesses closed during covid uh, because of covid Uh, and we're also looking at the fact that the majority of employers in the town are non-profits you know the majority of the largest employers mm -hmm. uh, are non-profits and like school districts and they don't contribute to the tax base and so when you have less money coming into the tax base uh from businesses there's only one other place to look and that is the homeowner and uh and I don't want to see homeowners taxed out of the town and uh and so therefore I think we need to take some action and we need to be proactive about attracting more businesses corporations to come to the town of Huntington 
so that they will pu pull up the slack and the homeowner does not have to carry the full burden of the tax weight. Mm -hmm. uh, Job, you know, I, I think it's it's very uh, relevant and it's very timely that you say these things. Our town, our unemployment rate is higher than the national average. Our uh, growth in the recent times has been lower than the national average. And our projected growth for the next 10 years is way less than the national average. So we welcome somebody like you from, uh, from the business uh, community to come forward. Uh, I understand that you uh, run this company called Shram Marketing Group. Can, can you tell us what business are you into? Sure. Um, Shram Marketing Group has been around for about 27, 28 years, mm -hmm. and we are sports, entertainment, and multicultural marketers. So we focus on those three areas, and uh, our clients include leading brands in sports and mostly television and as well as trade associations and uh and uh, it's been a great business and um we're known for a couple of things where we're known uh, for uh, being a leading promoter of international soccer in the United States. Um, mm -hmm. And uh, I've always wanted to get into the cricket business, but that's kind of tight and wrapped up. But soccer was a different um, business, and we've been very successful since 1993 in working mostly with targeting Hispanics in this country to uh, have them come out to exciting um, uh, soccer matches and getting soccer telecast on TV. Um, another side of my business is we produce conferences for um, for the television industry. So we're involved with some of the leading conferences in TV and um, and some of the conferences we've been involved with producing have dramatically shifted the way people of color and different ethnicities and uh, LGBT are portrayed as characters on television. So, you know, no longer are blacks necessarily hoodlums and no longer are Latinos necessarily drug addicts and no longer are gay people necessarily suicidal. So, uh, so uh, I'm very proud of the work that we've done to help shift that conversation on TV. Mm -hmm. that's, that's awesome, Joe. Joe, we, always, we also hear that you have been involved with some business with uh, Bollywood as well. You know, it's very popular with uh, our viewers here. Can you tell us about your involvement with Bollywood? Oh, my gosh. I'm so, I'm so lucky to have had the opportunity to work with a, a group of young people, uh, well, young people, they were younger than me. And uh, this goes back maybe 12 years ago, 10 years ago, when they uh, approached me. I had already been in the TV industry and they were trying to bring bo Bollywood movies to the United States and get them on television. So I helped them in, in uh, guarding them with, uh, with cre uh, creating relationships with different cable TV companies. And um, as time went on, they shifted more to focus Focusing on music, uh, that company is called Sovin. Uh, maybe some of your uh, viewers are familiar with the Sovin music app, and um, so it, it's gone through. I remember when it started out in in a small office in New York, and and certainly as um, uh, the founders of Sovin have done very well for themselves. But it was really exciting, and I really enjoyed learning a lot about the Bollywood movie industry. And I have maintained great relationships with um, a good number of the people I met uh, while I helped uh, Sovin get off the ground. But boy, they, they're they amazing. Those folks um, really are hard workers and uh, much smarter than me, I think. <laughs> Uh, Joe, I've seen a lot of reference to bicycles in, in, in your uh, campaign. Do, do bicycles hold a special significance? What, what, what's, what's behind the story? Sure. Well, I, 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 bicycling has been a part of my life. Uh, well, for more, all my life, it's, uh, it was my first big purchase, uh, was uh, my first bicycle. Now I own multiple bicycles. I love to bicycle ride. And, um, and the, uh, you know, but what's happened is I'm very much aware of the safety issues that we have in the town of Huntington with bicycling. And so, um, 
you know, and even Suffolk County legislature has recently passed some laws about cycling. And uh, and it has me a little bit concerned that we we really need to create safety, safe places for people to bicycle ride and and pedestrians to walk and and not necessarily the same path because uh, bicycles can be very dangerous to pedestrians so i think we need to as in the town we can focus on on creating safe places in our parks uh, where we can have bicycle trails and pedestrian trails and and uh, and so that we have less bicyclists necessarily on the road and dealing with cars all the time. So so I'm taking my personal love mm-hmm. and and applying it to a real safety issue that I know is of concern to many people in the no. town of Huntington, whether you're a, driving a car or a pedestrian or a cyclist, bicycle safety is common denominator to us all. We, 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 we all need that. Joe, we will talk more about your plan after a short break to see Vic Dero the way forward. The way forward is thought of to Swagata, Matt or our host Harjot Singh. Aj Asigal Karea, Huntington Town Council Day candidate Joe Shandanal. Joe, we have been hearing uh, of something called the Sham Plan, but before I ask you what that plan is, I would like to know from you something you have been talking about. Please tell us how does homeowners, the taxes that the homeowners pay, how does that relate to attracting corporations to locate in Huntington Township? Is, is there a correlation? Well, there. That one relates directly to the other, uh-huh. and I, I know it doesn't seem that way, but it does, uh, and. You know, homeowners benefit from the presence of tax paying businesses in the town of Huntington. And I already referenced to the fact that we're actually losing that tax base. Mm-hmm. Um, and if you just drove on Jericho Turnpike from one side of the town to the other, mm-hmm. you'll see suburban blight. Stores are empty. Um, and and restaurants are gone, mm-hmm. and it's really unfortunate. Mm-hmm. Uh, the amount uh, there were, the occupancy rate is so low. Mm-hmm. If you look at you go around Melville, you recognize that many of the offices are closed. Mm-hmm. Now I don't know if that's because of the of the pandemic, but I do know personally of many businesses that have left. Uh, I'll give you another example that. The Newsday building once was really a production facility. It had one of the largest printing facilities in the town of Huntington, and in fact, anywhere on Long Island. Mm -hmm. And that Newsday stopped printing. Mm. So that is the tax base we had for building uh, is gone. And the building is now gone. Hearts Mountain has torn it down, and they're going to replace it with a much smaller facility. So that means we have less money coming from the uh, the businesses into our tax coffers. Mm-hmm. And if you look at that, the zone, if we want to maintain the services that the town of Huntington provides to our residents here, then the only way we can afford to do that is either A, pass that expense on to homeowners, or B, look for alternate ways to bring money into the town. And that's why I've developed the the, um, the SRAM plan, because the SRAM plan is act to be actively involved mm-hmm. and aggressively seeking businesses and corporations to locate here in the town of Huntington, so that mm-hmm. taxpayers, homeowners, don't get stuck footing the bill all the time. Can you tell us and a little about the plan? Who are the key players involved in the plan? Sure. Well, the, you know, I'll just tell you uh, how what got me, it, it, you know, fired up mm-hmm. was the fact that 
Amazon had announced they were not going to open their corporate regional corporate headquarters in Long Island City. Mm -hmm. And all you have to do is look to our west and see that the town of Oyster Bay organized and were very successful in attracting that facility to locate in Syosset. And they have to build buildings in order to accommodate them. And so what we need to do in the town of Huntington is not sit on our hands anymore. No action was taken. We we can't do nothing. If we do nothing, the homeowners will be hurt. So the players are any major corporation that's currently in New York City. Many of them are going to be looking to relocate. This is very similar to a situation maybe 20, 30 years ago when Canon first came to the town of Huntington, when you know major corporations like AT&T left the city and moved out to the suburbs. Now, we're going to see that happen again. That's the trend. Mm-hmm. And Huntington is an ideal place to come. We have a beautiful, we're a beautiful place to live. We have a, a housing at every economic level, and we have beautiful beaches and parks and a great great place for corporations to locate here. Mm -hmm. So we have to look at what we have to deliver. So the people we're looking to attract here are corporations. Um, You know, I'm a small business owner. Shram Marketing Group is a small business. Mm -hmm. But if I think of myself as a fish, like if you've ever watched Discovery Channel during Shark Week, Mm -hmm. you see the sharks swimming through the water and there's hundreds of small fish around that shark. Well, those small fish are small business owners here in the town of Huntington. We need the big fish. We need the sharks to come here and we have room for them. And we have to go after major corporations and a lot of them are planning to move or locate here. We, and even international corporations, we should be looking for companies to come here Mm -hmm. and invite them. And there's, and the SRAM plan has a number of steps because you know once a corporation comes here we have to make it easy for them to hire people from from the town of Huntington mm-hmm. we have to make it easier for people to get to work mm-hmm. you know we want to relieve traffic we want to look at traffic flow mm-hmm. we want to look at our Huntington area rapid transit Joe, Joe, and- that's 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 something I wanted to point out you know whereas this this development is most welcome and most needed you know the residents of this town are very very conscious of maintaining that that small town character as well you know uh, sure so they don't want to be totally run over by by this traffic this parking problems this over expansion what, what solution do you propose for that well, you know, well, one is exactly that. We have to look at traffic flow. I, I you know, we, we, I live in the village of Northport, and um, we had a real po- parking problem here, mm-hmm. and we did a number of studies, and we were able to figure out ha- um, uh, different opportunities and options for us to uh, address that issue. I think the town of Huntington would benefit from some of that experience, uh, and also I think that uh, that so we need to do a traffic flow study. We have to look at creating incentives for people to park in certain areas, you know, um, it, and uh, and so if we have incentives for people to park in, like, I'll, for, I'll be very specific, like employees need to park in certain specific areas or incentivize people to not necessarily drive through town and park in one area to make their life to rather than we want to attract them to a specific parking lot or something of that nature. Mm -hmm. So I I don't know if I'm being clear, but the fact is there are so many different options that we can take from other communities that um, are reimagining themselves. It's time for Huntington to reimagine itself. And we have a really great opportunity to do that because we have lots of space. So to your point about the fact that there are residents who are concerned about traffic, well, you know, we have less business here than we did 10 years ago. So Mm -hmm. if you lived here 10 years ago, Mm -hmm. you were dealing with more traffic than you're dealing with now. So maybe you got a little bit spoiled by that, but, but we need to look at what happened 10 years ago and say, where were the problem spots? Are we going to have those same problem spots again? Mm -hmm. And if so, let's figure out a way to avoid that becoming a problem. So there are things that we can do. 
No, uh, it, it's it's very uh, reassuring to uh, hear that because you know as we as we discussed, the residents here, whereas they are uh, really looking for some development, they are very concerned about uh, with their sound, uh, you know, with, with the environment, with their clean water. So I'm 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 very uh, happy to hear that you are very conscious of that as well. Uh, Joe, recently there was an incident uh, in, in Walt uh, Whitman uh, Mall where a 16 was attacked and uh, a 16 uh, and another teen has been arrested and charged with hate crime you know we have seen that sentiment uh, against Asians uh, you know in the country lately what, what specifically do you think should be done to address an issue like that well I think we uh, you know, hate has always been around. I am, um, uh, I am, uh, I am a member of the LGBT community. I, I, I have been the subject of that hate and belligerence. Uh, you know, I, I don't. Uh, so I, I know what we're talking about, and uh, and we may think that the world has changed and people are easier going, but I, I think you would agree with me that we're seeing an increase in hate crimes and and belligerence towards people who are not like everybody else. So, you know, first of all, I think. It starts with families and and churches and religious organizations and schools, and to to really help educate um, uh, young people on appreciating different cultures or people who are different, mm. as opposed to uh, fearing them, because hate comes from fear. I think we all know that. And I think um, I'm a marketer, and I'm a big believer in social campaigns, you know, public service announcements, and and uh, really changing or shifting the way people think. And you can do that through TV commercials and television shows. And I spoke earlier about what I do, so yeah i'm sorry go ahead joe, joe we are running out of time oh, you know sorry. i would just like to hear from you what is it that you bring to the town hall that is different than than uh, anyone else why should we vote for joe shram uh, you should vote for me because a town councilman's first responsibility is to be entrusted with the budget of the town mm. and and to make sure that you are your investment in this town as a property owner is is cared for and and i am a businessman i have been entrusted by major leading brands for many years with their multi-million dollar budgets and so i would treat every homeowner's investment in this town with the same care and and transparency that I treat my clients' money. So what I bring to the town mm. is a real commitment to mm. your to treating your money correctly. And we haven't seen that in the last uh, couple of years. I think we've seen a waste of your money and my money, <laughs> and that ticks Joe, me off. <laughs> Joe, I, I really appreciate your coming to the studio today through Skype. Uh, I wish you all the very best for your campaign. Thank you very much for speaking with us today. Well, thank you for the invitation and for the privilege of speaking to your audience. I really appreciate it. Thanks. Thank you. All the very best. Asi milde break the